youth athletes often present with a unique set of deficiencies that we need to address with exercises, so that's what we're going to cover in this video. Hi guys, Max Wardell over at athletics.com. We're going to go right into the first exercise, which is going to be on the ground for a glute bridge. We want to show you guys our favorite exercises for youth athletes who haven't been exposed to much training, so here we go. Okay guys, so we're going to get into exercise number one right off the bat here, which is just going to be a glute bridge. So what you're going to do, push your low back into the ground, or you're going to instruct your players to push their low back into the ground. One good way to do this is put your hand right under their low back and say, crush my hand. So they're going to push their low back into the ground. This puts them into a posterior pelvic tilt, activates their core musculature. And then from there, you're gonna have them squeeze their butt, squeeze their butt muscles, their glutes, and do a bridge. And then you can have them hold it, and then go down. So this is a very basic one. Um, this is gonna be for a lot of your younger athletes that haven't been exposed to any sort of training. This is one of our favorite ones to start with. Start working on those glute muscles, working on the core with the posterior pelvic tilt, core activation, bridge, hold, make sure they're not using their hands. And now to number two. Okay, number two is gonna be a push-up. A push-up plus. So this is a common exercise I see, but I, I also see it done wrong. So how we're gonna do this is put them in a push-up position, hands just wider than shoulder width. I don't want their elbows flaring out and their hands way out here. So they're just farther than shoulder width and you can start them on their knees if you have to and have them do a knee push-up. This may be the best way to start. So I'm gonna demonstrate it that way first, making sure their back's flat. Everybody knows what's good push-up form, not letting their elbows flare out to the sides like this, keeping their elbows in tight and doing a push-up. Now, they're gonna do the push-up and then when they get to the top, they're gonna press their chest away from the ground. An even better way to do this is to do the full push-up position. So the most important part isn't this. This isn't the most important part of the exercise. The most important part is that, where they push their chest as far away from the ground as possible. So we're training the serratus there, which is very, very important for pitchers. You're training pecs, shoulders, everything. So you're actually working on some core strength at the same time, but doing that push away from the ground allows you to incorporate the serratus. So that's number two. Number three, right here. So our next exercise here for youth athletes is a dead bug hold. And you've probably all heard of dead bugs, or if not, there's an advanced uh, portion of this exercise for core strength that we're gonna show in a future video. But in this one, we wanna do the hold because we're working with more of the amateur or the athletes who haven't been exposed to exercise yet. So we're right here and we're gonna tell them think about pushing your knees up and I don't want to see them doing this or anything but this makes them tighten their core as hard as they can reach their arms towards the sky don't let their feet come in this way too much you want to let them get their feet out there keep their low back touching I don't want to see that either now if I'm going into lumbar extension I'm not working my core as much so you want to maintain and you can see I can even get a little quiver myself out of this and I can do the full dead book pretty well so that's the next one. We're gonna show you one more in this video. Okay, so the final exercise in this video is a Y, a standing Y. And so we often use this as a postural correction for athletes that come into the clinic with the more rounded shoulders or weak mid-low trap. But what you're gonna do is stand right here, hinge at the hips, so you're teaching yourself a hip hinge, maintaining a neutral spine, and then you're gonna go right into a Y. So shoulders down and back, lean forward, more resistance, a little less resistance here. Most important thing is maintaining the posture. So you can go straight forward, or I can go straight forward and show you guys. So I'm leaning forward, I'm right here. I don't wanna see that, that's what we don't wanna see. Shoulders down and back, almost like you're gonna tuck your shoulder blade in your back pocket. So right here, one more time from the front view, 
pulling the shoulders down and back. And a cue that I like to do with the athletes is I'll actually grab their wrist. I'll stand out in front of them while they're doing it. And I'll pull towards me. And then I'll say, pull back away from me without bending your elbows. And that forces them to depress and retract their scapula, which is what we want. So that's our final exercise for youth athletes in this little quick video. We're going to be posting more on this. And then also we're going to be posting some videos on stretches that you can use with your youth athletes. It's going to be the same stretches you would use with older athletes, but we want to make them simplistic so you guys can execute them efficiently. So that's our video for today. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then also tune in next time.